Let me repeat. Let me clear. So the assignment is write a function Write a function Write a function that returns true. if any given word is a palindrome. But return false if the word is not a palindrome. And what is a palindrome? What is a palindrome? A palindrome is any word whose, whose um, spelling and meaning remains the same when the characters are reversed. For example, The word madam is a palindrome because when I reverse the characters of madam, I still have M A from the from that is from the um from the back to the to the front M A then D A M. You will see that it has the same meaning going forward and it has same meaning going backward and the same spelling so this is a palindrome so the function should return true in this case however if the word is lagos 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 is spelled in this manner forward but if you go backward it will spell S O G A L. So you can see that back forward and backward, the spelling is not the same. At the same time, it does not have the same meaning. So your function should return false. That this is not a palindrome. So that is the next assignment. Is there any question on the assignment? No, sir. No, no question. Joshua, is there any question on the assignment? No, sir. No, no, no. Mary, is there any question no, on the sir. assignment? All right, thank you. So I can go to the class of today. So we have concluded um, arrays. We are starting maps and sets. Maps and sets. Maps and sets, they are also I tribus and they are also collection of items just like an hurry but with differences 
for, for when we are talking of set, a set, if you read this text, contains unique items. That means that it cannot contain repetition. And you can create a set by using the new keyword and the set. Now, I want you to note the syntax. You can see that a set contains an array as argument inside it, inside its constructor. If we go to the IDE, let's say we want to create a set, let's say a fruit set. I use the new keyword. By me doing this or writing this, I've successfully created a set. However, if I create a set in this manner, then I will need to start adding the individual items. But I, at, at this stage, I want to create the items right at the beginning of, my, of the constructor. So, I will use the array because it, 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 it must contain an array. So, I can say mango. I can say um, berry. I can say plum. And let's just say cherry. Let me print this out on the console through set for me to check the content. Of that full set so you can see it has a set a set of four items mango berry plum and cherry is there any question no sir no all right no, joshua sir. no question mary any question no sir no question now, earlier on, I said a set cannot contain repetition. Let me try to repeat um, berry, for example. Berry. So, I, I should expect to have five items. Mango, berry, plum, cherry and berry but when i run it you will see that it ignored the last one because it is a repetition but if i change the spelling just let me just remove a single r you will see that it will register that now five items but well, there's no fruit by that name anyway so, if you find yourself if you find yourself trying to work on a project where repetition of data is not allowed then that gives you an hint that the right data structure you, you, you can use is the set data structure as 
it will not allow any repetition within it. Let's go on. Now, we have seen how to create a set using the new set. Now, if I create a set without me passing the items in the constructor, is there a way I can add items? Yes. There are. Or there is a way. But before I go there, just like string array that has the length property. Remember, if you apply the length property on an array, it will return you the size of that array. So, but in set, instead of length, we use the size. If I go back to the IDE here, and I use this, the size property on this, it should return me the size of the set, which is four items. It has four items within it. Now, when I create an empty set, as you are seeing on the screen, I can use the add method to start adding items to the, to the set. Let's take, for example, I, I'm not creating any items within the constructor of the set. So I can use the add method to add what I want to add items to this fruit set. So I will do add then kiwi. So I'm going to add another let's say orange Let me add another, which is say apple, and one more, say um, cherry. If I run this, you will see it will see give me four items because I've added four items. If I want to check the content, I can run that. And I will have the content. Is there any question? No. Joshua, is there any question? No, sir. Ademola, is there any question? No, sir. Mary, is there any question? No, sir. Thank you. So, there is the as method, H A S. This method makes us gives us the ability to check if a set contains a particular item or not. So, if I want to check this set, I will use that as method. Does this set, fruit set, does it, does it contain orange, for example? So, true. It does contain an orange. If I say check, does it contain a plum? It should return false because there's no plum within this set, as you can see. So, this is important when you are maybe, in, for example, probably you are you, you are looping through the content of a set, and you want to check if that set contains a particular item, then it should do something. 
for example i can loop through use my for rough loop because it is an i treble any data structure that is i treble you can use a for or off loop so i'm going to use the for for off loop item of process although we are still going to check this later on so if i want to check or maybe determine that if they said contains an apple it should announce to the business array there is an apple apple within this set so i'm going to check if if um item because now i am looping through is equal to um apple i can go this way let me let me try this first then i will say console.log If I run it, okay, let me comment this out so you can see. Let me run it again. Array, this set as an apple, right? But do I need to go through this loop for me to, I, to be able to do this? No, I do not need, need to because this is about one, two, three, four, five five lines of code i could just say if fruit set fruit set as an apple Just print out console.log that if I run it, I, I should have the same. But let's assume that it does not contain an apple. So I can do else now. Console the log. Shame. This set. does not contain an apple. If I run it, why is it taking time to run? So you can see, shame, this set does not contain an apple. Is there any question? Is there any question? No, sir. Joshua, any question? Joshua, any question? Anything. Okay. I cannot hear you. No, I don't have any. Okay, no, okay. Uh, Mary, any question? Mary, any question? No, sir. All right, thank you. So now, the delete, of course, removes the specified elements from what they said. 
So it, it returns true if the element was present and false if it was not. So once you apply, look at this, right? This set four contains one, two, three. And we are trying to delete two. So we use, you call the method delete, put the item to be deleted. And once that is done, so we, we will be left with one and three. That is what that is doing. The clear method clears everything. It will make the set to be empty. Now, the for each loop. Remember that we, we, we treated this for each loop in the for each function rather in array. So let us just quickly demonstrate that. Let me uncomment this back. So the for each will go through each of these items and we can do whatever we want with it so i'm going to say fruit set because that is what the forage is going to act on for each item i'm going to pass a callback function there item there for each function i want to say um Okay. Um, um what can we do with with the item? Um hmm. I'm taking what I can do with these items. Um Okay, you can say if just to repeat what we just did earlier on, if item is um, orange this time, orange, then Just print also the log. I found it. So if I run this, yes, I found it because it contains the item. But if the item is not there, not, nothing will be printed. So the for each go we loop through, pick each of these items and check this condition this condition here. Check each condition on each item. Then whichever one that is that matches, it will return, it will print out this. When it has orange yes it matched and we printed out this i found it however when we removed the orange it, we could not print anything else because no orange was found so that's for rich loop so I'm going to treat this value keys and entries now. And I will stop here today because I do not want to overload you with too much information. And also, we have just nine more minutes to till 9 p.m. So the values represent what the values are in the set. Whereas the key 
returns an iterator of, of the set of values also. Now, why is it why is value and keys returning the same thing? Simple. It's because the set does not contain key. It is not a key value pair. But by the time we we go into map, the map is a key value pair. So in that case, the key we print out the keys and the values we print out the values. Why the entry, the entry always prints out both the keys and the values. If we let me just copy this because of, of time. Let me just copy all here. No, not it's just this one I need. Mm. Yes. So paste. So we have a set that has one, two, three integers. So now we are calling the set the values method on the set. So and this will return the values in or the values within the set. And each of the values will now be printed out. The, the first one will be assigned to value, it will be printed out to go to the next two assigned to value, it will be printed out, and so on and so forth. Let me comment this out first. And if I run this, you will see one, two, three printed out. Now, if I do the keys, if I run it, you will see that the same thing will be printed out because the set does not have a key value pair. Now, if we use the entries, right, you will see that it will return both the key and the value, and you will see that they are the same. And it's all because it is actually not a key value pair, or maybe within itself, it is doing something like this, assigning one as the key, then the value, then two, the key, then the value, then three, the key, then the value. So, but in map, you will discover that you can actually give different things specify the different thing as key. For example, in map, you can see um, name. You can specify name as a key, then the value. You can see um, um, Sean, for example. You can see Sean, right? as a value then you can say age as a key then the the uh what's it called the value can be say 14 and so on and so forth so that is that concerning entries values and keys are there any questions before we call it a day? No, sir. Okay. No question. Joshua, no question? No, sir. Joshua? Joshua? Yes, sir. Do you have any question? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. All right, then. 
So remember to do the assignment, right? And I want to repeat, there is nothing wrong in you going to the internet for assistance. But please, and please, try to understand what you are copying. Understand it because I'm going to ask questions in the class to test your understanding. It is not good enough for you to just go and copy solution from the internet and dump for me. I'm going to question it. I'm going to test you to see whether you truly understood what you just presented. All right. So thank you. And uh, we see you on Tuesday by God's grace. God bless you all. Thank you, sir. And you too, sir. Mm -hmm.